tell you about the song I was going to play. <laughs> Before I continue, to the young lady shouting in the back, I'm not a jukebox. <laughs> sincerely appreciate that so many of you know my songs and want to hear them. On the other hand, I don't care. <laughs> I was thinking about this today on this long ride. I had about a nine hour drive last night and this morning to get here. And I'm very happy to be here with you. And, uh, you know, sometimes we get lost. I'm in the audience sometimes too, watching my favorite person or persons. And uh, we forget how much time and effort and energy it takes to make these songs. Right. And, uh, and uh, I prepared for the show for weeks, um, twice making a double Smashing Pumpkins album. I put this tour, I put this tour smack dab in the middle of the of the making of the new Pumpkins records to promote, obviously, my new album, but also I like to play these songs. So, if you just let me play these songs, I hope you'll enjoy them. If you don't want me to play these songs, then I don't know what else to do other than just talk to you. <laughs> Thank you. So, a little story then, at least to get back into the show. Um, this song here, it's one of those songs that I wrote. I didn't think much of it at the time, and over the years it's kind of grown on me. It was written during the Siamese dream era. I couldn't tell if I wrote it before the making of the record or during the making of the record. But it came out on one of the uh, Siamese dream singles. It's a B-side. It's called Persnickety. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. 